now you guys know there's more to Microsoft Word than meets the eye, right? So, you know, you type minutes of the meeting, for example, in Microsoft Word. Yeah. How does, is there any improvement on that? Is this an easier way to do yes, it? Yes, yes. Uh, as I said, many people don't use Office fully. Mm -hmm. They may be using the product for years, but they're not delving deeper into the product. Mm -hmm. The second problem with Office is that it has some products which are not noticed at all by people. Mm -hmm. And one such brilliant product is called OneNote. 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 So as the name suggests, is designed for taking notes. Mm -hmm. So you would think, I already use Word to take notes. So what is the big deal? Why mm -hmm. should I learn another mm -hmm. piece of software? Mm -hmm. The idea is this, when you're taking notes, assuming you want to capture everything, mm -hmm. you will have to take detailed notes. Mm -hmm. If you don't take detailed notes, later on you're going to miss out on detail. Mm -hmm. But if you take detailed notes, you're not going to be able to participate in the discussion because yes. most of the time you're spending typing, yes, yes. which is a catch-22. Yes. So OneNote helps you in recording the audio during the meeting. So everything is anyway getting recorded. You don't have to take detailed notes. You just take short and sweet notes at important points in okay. the meeting. Okay. And the best part is at the end of the meeting, it will automatically synchronize your notes with the audio. So if I have a two hour meeting recording, uh -huh. imagine finding one particular sentence spoken by someone yes. at, uh, after six months, there is a dispute. So you go to your notes which you have uh -huh. taken, maybe uh -huh. the 10th sentence of the note is where the dispute is, you mm -hmm. click there and say play. So it will jump to that location where people were speaking when you wrote those notes. Wow. So it's wow. out of the box and beautiful. Wow. It also allows you to do many other things like uh, imagine a project mm -hmm. where five of your team members are working, mm -hmm. different locations. Mm -hmm. Today what happens, everyone attends meetings every day. Mm -hmm. Everyone does some work. Yes. But my other team members need to know about what I am doing. Yes. yes. So I have to send a mail with CC to all of them. Yes. Similarly, they are sending me hundreds of mails with that CCs and attachments. Yes. Yes. It creates complete chaos in your inbox. Yes. Now, at the end of the project period, if there is a review, mm -hmm. monthly review, let's say, mm -hmm. Everyone is in the room searching in their mailboxes, yeah. where are those mails? Yes, so exactly. So it's, it's not really yes. teamwork, it's yeah. chaotic teamwork. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So OneNote allows you to do some brilliant thing. The project manager creates a notebook and puts it on SharePoint, again, the shared okay. website which yes. we talked okay. about. And then all other team members can connect to that notebook. Then everyone has an offline copy of the notebook also. Okay. So the synchronized copies on the server, everyone has their own copies. Now, when I make any change in my OneNote notebook, let's say I attend a meeting, whenever I connect to my network, all others will get to know my notes. No CCs, no attachments sent. So it's like those OneNote notebooks are talking to each other whenever yeah. they can yes. and making sure everyone is on the same yeah. page. So they just update. They just other, update yeah, automatically. Automatically. One time you have to connect them together. That's yeah. it. it um, just uh, on the side, SharePoint is free, right? SharePoint comes in multiple versions. Okay. Some part of it is free. Free. Some part of it is. Some part of it okay. is free. So you know, I'm guilty of you know. I think I installed my latest Microsoft Office a couple of months ago, and uh -huh. then on the installation process, I just unchecked one, one note because <laughs> I said, I don't think I need another note. I have a, a, a notepad ready which right. I used on my mobile phone and yeah. secret. I said I don't need that, but knowing that now, I'm definitely going to install it back. Yeah. And um, check this video out of uh, some demonstrations and applications of how you can use OneNote in your company. As we know, formal documents are created using Word, Excel and PowerPoint. But what about informal and unstructured information you may need to store? Research notes, minutes of meeting, Repression for making formal documents, group discussion, brainstorming, searching on a topic. OneNote is designed for all this and more. Start recording audio or video of the entire lecture or meeting after taking permission from participants. This way, you don't have to waste time taking detailed notes. Tags are used to put more meaning into your notes. For example, this is a question mark, this is an idea, 
and this one is a book to read. Now you can find tags across your meetings so that you can categorize your ideas, queries, books and so on. This is very useful. Imagine how you could have done this using notes taken in Word. Copy pasting from web pages automatically puts a URL, which is a very handy feature. It also has a small little calculator, which works pretty well for fairly complex calculations. One of the surprising features is that you can put any picture containing text into OneNote and OneNote can either search for that text in the image or it can extract the text from the image which you can paste somewhere else. Finally, the recorded audio is automatically linked to your notes. That means at a later date, you can simply click on the play button which is next to your notes item and then the recording will play from that point of time, not from the beginning. This way, even if you have a long recording, you can find the verbal context instantly without any searching. For working with your team, create a notebook on SharePoint and share it with your team. Everyone now gets an offline copy of the notebook and all changes are auto-synchronized. For sharing notebooks outside your intranet, you can use SkyDrive. Going one step further, if you are in the same room, with a shared notebook, all team members can edit the same page simultaneously. You must actually try this to believe it. This eliminates sending of cumbersome CCs with attachments to each other just to be in sync about a project or a customer. And this is just the beginning. Explore and wonder why you did not use OneNote for so many years.